In this Blender tutorial I will show you how to create a video clip from a sequence of images. I've assumed you have a basic understanding of editing in Blender. A link to two of my beginners tutorials is included in the description below. One for older versions of Blender and one for version 2.8 which is the version I shall be using. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. OK, so the first thing you need to think about, um, especially if you've created a stop motion video, is the time or the frames per second. Now, I assume you would have already worked out how many uh, frames you are going to use per second. So make sure your frame rate matches this. So I'm going to change this to 50. OK, so that's your frame rate. Um, it, when it comes to time lapse, your frame rate will have an effect on the speed so of your video, and that's something you may want to play around with. But anyway, so I've just changed my frame rate. Um, I've left the aspect ratio the same up here. I won't go into all this sort of thing because, like I said at the beginning, I assume you know a bit about editing in uh, Blender. So. Don't use the file browser. Left click on add or you can use shortcut um, shift A and what you're looking for is image sequence. Left click on this and then navigate to the folder where your images are stored. Um, one thing I will mention, you should only have the images that you're going to use. If you've got any more images in this sort of sequence you'll need to uh, remove them. Also your images should be numbered um, from where you want to start like this one, one, two, three, four, if you've got different numbers um, then it will import them in an erratic sort of fashion. Um, and the other thing is I haven't actually got a stop motion or time lapse I've just created a sequence of images from a video but the principle is still the same OK, so to select all of your images, just press A on your keyboard. So that's A for all or A for Apple and it will select all of your images and then just come up to the top right and left click add image strip. And there you go, all your images are brought into um, Blender and when you play it, it will play as a video and you're good to go and render it now um, like I said I've assumed you have some understanding of editing in Blender obviously you'll need to change the timeline here the 250 you'll need to change it to match the length of your strip um, so that's where you'll need to learn some basic sort of editing in Blender the other thing is the aspect ratio um, if you've got a standard sort of image um, sequence of images say at 4-3 aspect ratio you'll need to transform this image using the um, or these images using the transform strip but uh, that's, uh, that's another lesson it's a, another art to learn in Blender so hopefully that's helped somebody thank you for watching cheers